Hello everyone, my name is Quanisa Alexander. I am the librarian at Barrick Elementary and I'm going to share with you how to promote your book fair. Promoting the book fair by Quanisa Alexander, Barrick Elementary School. The first thing that I do is I ask my students what they want. I present a poll. I ask them which books they want to purchase at the book fair. I make a list of their requests and then I email or call my book fair representative to make sure that those items are available for my students. Then I host a school-wide event. I ask my principal if it's okay to host a literacy night or a family reading night. Beforehand, I design the activities based on an author, theme, or the book fair books that are available. I set it up in various classrooms, or you could tweak this and do it in the main hallway, and some people have even done it in the cafeteria. I make sure that I stay open late for working parents to purchase books after school. I also ask the teachers to bring the students daily. Here at Barrick Elementary, I have a very good ancillary staff, and what the ancillary teachers do is they bring every single class to the library for the first two days. For the last particular book fair, we've actually done it where every class comes every day, all day. So I have an influx of customers all day long. For classroom teachers, or if you're in high school or middle school, you may want to set up times for the teachers to come, and I'm sure that will be successful as well. I also read book fair books to each group. I read a few lines or pages to each group and I dangle a cliffhanger. I stop at a certain point and I leave the kids intrigued. Several children and teachers will return to purchase that book so that really boosts my sales. I also host a preview day for teachers. I contact my book fair representative. I ask them to make sure that they send the book fair the week before, at least by that Friday, so I can set my books up. And this allows the teachers to set aside what they want and also to make a wish list so that when the parents come in, I ask them to either purchase a book for the class or to donate their loose change. I give volunteers to wear signs. Outside at dismissal, we have safety patrol and they wear signs to promote my book fair. I also get my principal involved. Since HISD is now doing the Literacy by Three, I ask her to purchase one book for every faculty member, and she has done that at all of my book fairs, even if I have three in one year. And lastly, the Walking Book Talk. I recruit volunteers to visit classrooms with books and various items promoting the book fair. Now let's see this in action. Hi, my name is Elijah, and I'm doing this stuff for the book fair. This book is called I Survived the Destruction. This book is about a kid, his name is Marcus, and there's this mountain with a mythical beast on it that it erupts the volcano, and the volcano, it destroys his whole town. This book is about dinosaurs that have, that they show when they get mad. Like, for example, they stomp and roar. But at the end, they they uh, apologize and get nice. So if y'all get mad at any of y'all parents or brothers or sisters, just forgive them because maybe they didn't do it on purpose. And also, these things, a pencil and a bookmarker, will be at the book fair. Hello, guys. My name is Dylan, and I'm going to read two books on Minecraft. This one is about um, to f uh, crafting stuff like I don't know, iron, gold, and cobblestone. And this one's about to find stuff like diamond, redstone, um, iron, iron, redstone, diamond, all, all stuff that's on my craft. And these books, you can find them at the book fair. that is stealing carrots from a farm and he thinks the carrots are following him home. And this is Diary of the Wimpy Kid, the long haul. And you can get at the book fair and these are some cute pencils for y'all. Hello, my name is Alfonso. I got this book from Miss 
Alexander. It's about a basketball player called LeBron James. He, he got good at basketball and he was a champion. And this one is about a lady that ate a fly. Buy it at Miss Alexander's book fair. And over here, I got an eraser that goes on your pencil. And my name is Eliana, and there's a book called Dark Diaries that tells from a not so glad TV star. It's where Nikki gets backstage passes, and Mackenzie and Jessica take them, but they find out a cool way to stay backstage. And then this book is called Wonder. It's where there's this boy who really doesn't fit in, but it's his first day. And we will also have this pencil. Hello, my name is Mercedes. And we have the fairies tell us from the not so ever to happen after. This is about when Kinsey hits Nikki in the face with the ball from the ball. And Nikki goes into different dreams with Cinderella, Rapunzel, and um, Snow White. And Ungifted is about a boy that thinks he has no talents, but later on he finds out that he does have talents. And we have a pencil with the decorated balls. Thank you. Sure. 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 Sure.